Okay, so in this problem, we're told if two firecrackers produce a sound level of 95 decibels when fired simultaneously at a certain place, what will be the sound level if only one is exploded? So you always want to draw what's going on. So we have two firecrackers here and one here. And so we're going to have two scenarios, one where the, uh, you have both firecrackers being exploded and the other scenario where you just have the one. They tell us that the sound level when two are fired uh, is going to be equal to 95 decibels. And so I'm going to call this beta one, right? The sound level for the two firecrackers uh, corresponding to scenario one. So 95 uh, decibels. And so what we're trying to find is the sound level when only one is exploded. So we can call this beta two, right? We'll say it equals question mark uh, because that's what we're trying to solve for. So the first thing we need to know is the formula for the sound level, which can be written this way. So you need to know that beta is equal to 10 times the log of the intensity divided by the base intensity or just the base level. This is just a value we set and it's always a constant value. So this value is equal to one times 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter squared. So this is the uh, value, right? We need to know this in order to solve. And the way we're going to do it is by creating two equations, one for scenario one and one for scenario two. Okay. So let's go ahead and write those out for, so for scenario one, we have beta one equals 10 times the log of the intensity in scenario one. So the intensity of scenario one divided by I zero. So that's for scenario one. And then for scenario two, right, we're gonna have the same thing, right? B two equals 10 times the log of I two over I zero. Okay, and so now that we have both equations here, right, for their sound levels written in terms of the intensity, what we're going to do is basically write one equation with both values. So what we're going to do is B2 minus B1, and you'll see why this works in a second. Basically, what we're going to do is eliminate some things, just to make it easier to solve. But we have 10 times the log of I1 over I0. Can I just do that? 10 log... Okay, so now that we have both of these written out, I know that we don't have I1 and I2, right? Because in order to solve for uh, B2, we need I2, right? But we don't have it. So we're going to have to do a little, uh, little manipulating here in terms of the equations in order to actually solve for it. So the way it's going to work is by doing B2 minus B1 equals, and then we're just going to plug in these formulas. So we have 10 log of I2 over I0 minus 10 log of I1 over I0. So all this is doing here is just doing B2 minus B1 and then just writing them out in their equation forms. Now you'll see why we do this in a second. But first what we want to do is combine uh, these log terms. So you should know that if you have the log of X minus the log of Y, the whole thing is equal to the log of X over Y. So if you basically subtract, you just divide. And that's what we're going to do here to, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do here. So we have the log of, so keep in mind, imagine this is the X, this is the Y. So you would do I2 over I0, right? That's X. And then divide it by Y, I1 over I0, right? And to get rid of this, you would just do copy dot flip. So we have I2 over I0 multiplied by this flipped. So I0 over I1. Notice if you go ahead and cancel this, uh, what you're going to get is just I2 over I1. And so, yeah, so what we can do is just rewrite this as the log of I2 over I1. And that's going to go ahead and give you 
right, what we have. But also keep in mind we have the 10 out front. So you would really write this as beta 1 minus beta 2, 10 log of I2 over I1. So the trick to this problem is we need to know the ratio of I2 to I1, uh, which is just the intensities of each of these, right, when the firecracker goes off. So the trick is notice I2 um, is has half as many objects of the same one as I1. Right, so this, since this has two firecrackers and this has one, the intensity is basically double. So if we said I1 was 1, I2, or sorry, if we said I2 was 1, I1 would be 2. So essentially, I2 over I1 is just 1 half. Right, that intensity is half of it because we have has, half as many of the same objects. So that's the trick to knowing this. And since we know I2 and I1, what we can do is just plug in the ratio. So we have beta 2 minus beta 1, right? Obviously, we want beta 2, though, the sound level, right? Because beta 2 is the sound level of just the 1. So we want beta 2. So it would be B1 plus 10 log. Keep in mind, this value is 1 half, right? The intensity is just half of that. And so beta 1, the sound level at scenario 1, was 95. So you have 95 plus 10 log of one half so let me go ahead and plug this in 95 plus 10 log of one half what you do is you get uh, beta 2 equals 91.99 basically so just 92 decibels so you can see that the um the uh right it was only 95 with two it only goes down to 92, but even though it went down three, it's still a big jump in terms of what you would hear. So 92 decibels, that's going to go ahead and be your answer. Another trick just to knowing this, if you know the intensity is halved, right? So in this case, it's halved. You will basically, if intensity is halved, it drops by three decibels. So you could also just do this in your head knowing, well, there's the intensity is half. It drops by three decibels. There you get 92 or about three, right? So uh, yeah, that's just another trick, but I just wanted to show you how we get that. Um, and yeah, so uh, just a quick rundown of what we did. We basically just created these two formulas for the sound level using the intensity. I knew I had to get the ratio of I1 and I2, right? And since there's two of them, it's double. Uh, and then really it's just a matter of manipulating the equations and solving. And uh, yeah, but uh, this is going to go ahead and be your answer, 92 decibels. And hopefully you found this video useful. Uh, I just wanted to add that I actually said something incorrectly when making this video. Uh, so I said that the three decibels was actually a big difference in terms of what you would hear. In reality, it's actually not. So the human ear can only detect about one to two decibel change. So honestly, if you had these two, you really wouldn't hear any uh, greater sound level or loudness difference just by this, by adding another one, right? Since it's only three decibels, it doesn't really change that much. So I just wanted to fix that I said that. So. Uh, yeah, your answer is still correct and everything. Uh, I just wanted to fix what I said. So uh, yeah, hopefully you found this useful.